Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Terry Port of Elite Chef Masterclasses and here today I'm going to be talking to you about some very important knife skills using the big French knife. But before we get into that, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and like this video. Let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, today I'm going to be talking about some knife skills and how to hold a knife, how to position ourselves at the cutting board and be safe. Now, one of the first things we need to talk about is actually the cutting board itself and what's underneath it. Now, this one luckily has some pegs on the bottom of it to keep it stationary. If you don't have that, I strongly suggest a wet rag or a paper towel, several layers underneath, if it's one of the plastic cutting boards or a wooden one without it. Just do yourself a favor, if it is a wooden one and you've got it wet sitting under there, make sure you dry it off after its use, otherwise it may tend to uh, uh, warp and crack. Very important tip. Okay, so now we're gonna get into how to hold the knife. Now, one of the things I find a lot of people do right off the bat is they hold the knife strictly by the handle on the back and all four fingers are wrapped around. This is actually incorrect because we're far away from the center of gravity on the knife, which is right about there. You can see how that stays balanced in my hand. Okay, so what we actually want to do is be as close to that as possible to ensure that we've got great stability. So what I'm going to do is actually only have three fingers wrapped around the handle. My index and thumb are actually grasping the blade itself. I have seen some people have their finger on the top of the knife. Now, that's a personal preference, but I will say one thing negative about that is when you have your finger on top of the knife, you lose a lot of lateral stability. When I drop my fi index finger down like that, I feel more in control and more of the energy that I'm exerting goes into what I'm working with. I'm very guilty of this thing that I'm about to do right now. For some strange reason, we always want to have the knife parallel with the sides of the cutting board. Now that's incorrect and I'll show you why right now. When I'm standing here at the cutting board, my elbow, because the knife is like this, is tucked in and it becomes very difficult to have any kind of agility, all right? So what I'm gonna show you to do is actually point that knife to the opposite cutting board of my dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, therefore I point it to the left corner, okay? Now this way, I've got elbow space to be able to do whatever it is I'm trying to do. We've learned how to hold the knife, We've learned how to stand at the cutting board and what our angle should be with the knife. Now, I'm gonna get into what we're supposed to do with our non-dominant hand, the guiding hand that holds everything in place. All right, and I'm gonna give a little bit of an analogy. Have we all seen Italian people talk? Hey, manja, your skin and bone. Hey, this right here is very important, okay? This turned upside down is what protects my fingers from the knife. So what I'm actually doing is, as I said, point that knife to the uh, corner, left corner for me, and I'm holding the knife correctly. I've got that Italian manja manja turned upside down, and my fingertips curl back. You'll notice my wrist isn't down on the cutting board. It's up, all right? And then this way, I can, I can do this till I'm blue in the face and I'm not worried about my fingertips. I've seen some people holding things like this with their fingertips out and oh my God, you're gonna, you're gonna lose a fingertip. Please don't do that. So my left hand, the middle finger of my left hand is pointing to the other corner and my knife is pointing to that corner. So I essentially have an X on my cutting board. All right. Thank you for watching this YouTube video on knife skills and standing at the cutting board. Again, like this channel, subscribe to my video, and we'll all be happy together. Have a great day, everybody.